for the first time ever I was right in predicting as to where this lion would be. He was exactly at Achele Apan. Now, of course, good morning to all of you. I hope that, well, that's a good start, isn't it? And my name is Taylor McCurdy and on camera with me is Brian with the very smart looking thumb. He must have a meeting in town this morning because he's dressed to the T with his suit and tie. Very lovely. But of course we've got a big male lion here. Now, Brian, I wonder, do you think we should try and do this whole repositioning thing? Might as well. We're going to try and reposition. We've got the roofs on this morning. So what I'm going to do is I think we need to re reverse. I think I even see a chameleon and I'm not even joking. Hang on. Everything, everything's falling off. Earpiece is coming out. I think I can see a chameleon. I think. We'll have to have a closer look though. Now if you have just joined us, welcome. This is a live safari and we look forward to hearing from you. So hashtag safari live with your questions on Twitter. Or, if you do not have Twitter, you can send them through to questions at wildearth.tv. Now we need to identify who this male lion is, straight off the bat. Are you Tinyo or are you Mfumo? But there he is. Let me turn these lights off. I'm going to trade. I'm going to, tr oh, I'm going to put my spotlight on. One, two, three. Oh, almost. Hello, big boy. He does not look impressed. Who do you think it is? Brian? Mm, I, I think it's Tinyo. It looks... It is, is it? He's just very wet and very sad this morning. But he's quite small. And Tinyo, I think, out of the Birminghams, well, this is just my opinion, he looks as though he's got the smallest sort of body size. He's not as big and bulky as Mfumo or even Nena and Suku. So this is my suspicion, but he's looking for his friends. He's been moaning all morning, not quite doing full roars just yet, but giving them a go. And hopefully, if we sit here for long enough and he decides to get up again, he's going to do exactly that. He's going to give us a bit of a roar. But now, it's siesta time. Hello. And it's so typical for male lions to do this, if they're not on a, well, a set after territorial patrol and just sort of looking for some friends, he'll walk, he'll do a hot, little bit of a roar, sit down, have a five minute siesta, and he's sitting out in the middle of the rain, so I don't know how long he'll sit here for before he gets slightly annoyed with all the water hitting his ears and hitting his face. Or, or actually he's very clever, do you see that Brian, how he's sitting with his bum towards the rain? We're actually facing the wrong way, but this lion is very intelligent. And every now and then I must just warn you as well, because it is drizzling, you might see that your screen will go black, but don't worry, it is not really black. It's just because Brian needs to wipe the lens every now and then to keep it nice and clean so that you can of all, of course, see nice and clearly. Come on, Leon. Wake up, Leon. Oh, that worked. Yes, that is definitely tenure. <laughs> That that face is a face that only a mother could love, I think. Look how his little canine is sticking out as well. Oh, I can hear another line. That's a very good sign. So, he obviously didn't respond to me when I said this is tenure. I'm talking absolute nonsense. But what he did respond to was some lions calling from behind us. And I'm not sure if it is... The females, it sounds very far away. It actually still sounds like it could be Far and Bivol's Hook. Or maybe it's one of the other brothers. Maybe they, they did split up. We know that Nsuku, who was hanging around for a bit, he went on to Torchwood yesterday morning. And I don't know where the other, other two are now. Although Nsuku could probably not even be on Torchwood anymore. He could be, well, back towards the eastern boundary of the Kruger National Park. Come on, boy. Why don't you respond to that call? I think that that would be a lovely idea. But isn't this just amazing? It's not very often, of course, that you get to drive around and, and first thing in the morning, well, you predict where the line's going to be. So I'm feeling very chuffed with myself. These types of things don't happen uh, too often, of course. I did cheat a little bit, though, because 
he was moving. So I think when I first heard him calling, it was probably a little bit further down Twin Dams Road, and I just got very lucky. But that's what uh, I suppose being out on safari is about. You need a little bit of luck in your life. And of course, it's also all about just being at the right place at the right time. I think he's going to move soon. What are you doing, big boy? Now he's staring off into the distance. I love the way his mane is so wet and it's almost forming dreads. No, now he's got his eyes closed. Hopefully, he's going to do a big, loud roar with, well, for us. And, well, we're not going to go anywhere just yet. We're going to go across to James.